yes good morning i'm actually getting ready to go to a funeral now and all i can think about is the bereaved family what they're going through you know at this point in time all i can reminisce and it brings home the reality of life itself that we don't come here to turn stone, as Mother Darius would say. We don't come here to turn stone. So while we are alive, we are creating happy memories. So the best we can do is to be, be keep it real. Keep it real, be ourselves, appreciate each other, appreciate family. Because time is shorter than what we think. You see everything that's going on around us? Look at the world today and what's happening. Almost every week there's a funeral here. In, West Mid in the West Midlands, yes. And the bottom line is people are dropping like flies. Not because I might feel fit and healthy today and I'm thinking that I've got life, I'm, I'm, I've got big plans, I've got big dreams. Nobody knows what tomorrow brings. Nobody knows. So while I'm here preparing for this lady's funeral, is a very nice lady. When I used to drive around and i used to drop people home you understand me because that's what i do i like to help out and i'll say sarah you want to live and i'll drop her to her door and i'll open her door and make sure she walk in and she's safe before i drive off you know and it's a small world because when we were younger mother Darius used to take us to the country and we got familiar with some people down there and they're like close family. In fact, Mother Darius took one of the of, of the young girls and brought to live with us. And she was with us until she grew up. So Mother Darius took it upon herself to care for that girl. And it's a small world. So those people are actually related to, to this lady here. Yes. It's Sarah's relatives out there that we are we've got a close affiliation a close connection with so like i said it's a very small world so i'm getting ready now you know to 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 to, to go and pay my respects to this lovely lady who passed away and to to sing my heart out obviously because of this social distancing thing i don't know if i'll be allowed in the church but at least my presence will mean much because this lady she never miss a funeral you saw life funny? She never miss a funeral. Never. Anytime anybody relative pass away in Wolverhampton, you can all you could always rely on Sarah to be there to pay tribute and to give her respects. And see now she passed away. And because of all this government social distancing rule, we don't know what's gonna happen yet. But like I said, I'm getting ready putting myself together and i will be going there to pay my respects to sarah lovely lady who passed away and at the end of the day life is short we don't know what tomorrow brings so in the meantime if you've got your family treat them with kind regard try not if you've got like any grievance carrying against any family members try and put it aside put Put, put all that aside and um, forgive. Forgive and forget because I realize after much years of experience that people are nasty. People are nasty because they don't know better. And as my mom always say, who know better, do better. So if somebody's being mean or nasty, they got a mean, dirty streak, you can override it because good always outweigh evil. You understand? Yes, good always outweigh evil so at times like this it brings home home the reminder that um your family is actually your lifeline they're an extension of you because as for me when i was at the lowest point in my life it was family and good friends and friends good friends are better than pocket money they said the best friend to have is jesus but obviously jesus himself tell you that how can you love him who you don't see and hate your brother who you see every day so if you have to first love yourself before you can love anybody else 
Yes, the Bible says love your neighbor as yourself. You understand? So like I said, today is funeral mode. And since I'm on the topic of family, I find this quite a fitting time to talk about the experiences with me going to funerals and paying my respects and what it means to pay respects to a loved one who pass on, you know. It's not so much dressing up and putting on nice clothes and, and going to make an entrance. It's about going there, paying respect, paying tribute for all the, their years of service that they put in. Especially this lady is a community lady. Sarah was a very nice lady. Yes, very nice lady. Very, um, she had good manners, very courteous. She would always wave hello and... Yes, she uh, she was a nice lady. And um, today now, I shall go to the funeral, sing my heart out, pay my respects. And I don't know if I'll be allowed at the graveside, but we'll see what happened because of these new COVID restriction. Oh, no, no, see your COVID, I'm sure people... Um, I'm a, you see, from the other day, I said I was going to touch on the topic of COVID. But where do I start? Where where do I start? Because this COVID thing, because back in the back many many moons ago, you had um the Spanish flu, you had SARS, which just says COVID related. It's it's all COVID related, and then one day now in China, in Wuhan, in China, something happened in the market with some dead animal, and virus was there. Everybody wearing masks, and then COVID spread throughout the world. Really. I mean, I really buy that. Belief kill and it cure, but me not buy that. But anyway, me just go with the flow. Me have my mask that if anything, I me have a social distance. Me have my mask in my bag. But this COVID, all I can see it is a money making it thing because even yesterday when I forget my mask, me have to buy another mask in the market. Me have to spend two pounds for another mask and me already buy one for five pounds three weeks ago. You understand? And because you are wearing these masks every day and you're sweating, you have to wash them every day so you use more soap, more money to buy soap. What a change of life. You know, see so the time where we're living in, a, this is the last days that we're living in, whether you believe it, yes or no, or you like it, yes or no, a last days. You understand me? Perilous times. So all we have to do is be on our P and P's and our Q's and um, look to the ills where your help come from. You don't have to be a Christian to call on God's name. No. All you have to do is reach down from the recesses of your soul. From the confines of your heart. And reach out to God. And he will reach out to you. Because God is a spirit. And they who worship must worship in spirit and truth. A lot of you have been asking me about um, becoming a Christian. So... I'm going to touch on that topic as a, in, in its entirety from being a baby Christian so to growing up, maturing in the faith. You understand? Because because of COVID and all that, we can't go to church. We have to understand that if you get on your knee and reach out to God in spirit and truth from a sincere heart, then God will, God will answer. Yes, he's a God that answers prayer. Yes, I'm telling you from experience that God Almighty, who is a spirit throughout the Bible. You've got 66 books in the Bible. And the bottom line is, God appears in every chapter. You read from Genesis to, to Revelation. Number one in Genesis, he appears as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Anyway, you see the pillar of cloud, you know that God was there. Anyway, you see the pillar of fire by night, you know that God was there. The Ark of the Covenant which is still active today throughout somewhere in Jerusalem, you know that God was there. There was a man who, because he was so unholy, he touched the ark and he dropped dead. So the bottom line is, because God is such a holy God, he can't intermingle with sin. That's why he said, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Remission just means removal. Me. I will always be a Christian. You know why I will always be a Christian? Because I got baptized at age 13. Yes, you have to you have to 
is the answer of a good conscience towards God. So you 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 undertake that watery baptism, and that because if you're not careful, you go down a a bad sinner and rise up a worse sinner. So baptism doesn't make you a Christian. Baptism is just the just to is your conscience telling you that you have to reach out to God and become one of His. And just like parents grow up their children, you start from baby stage, grow up in Second Peter 2, it tells you about the requiring the milk. Yes, the sincere milk. The milk is the Bible, the word of God. And prayer and fasting. Me, on a daily basis, I don't eat till 12, 1 o'clock every day. So I, and so I am observing a period of fasting because I want spiritual strength. When you got spiritual strength, like it tells you in Ephesians 6, it says, um, we're not resting with flesh and blood, but principalities and power. So we have to put on the whole arm of God so we can resist against the temptation and the wiles of the devil. Yes, we've got a real devil in this society and in this life that attack you. Sometimes the devil works through people, the devil have his agents, you know. In St. John 8, 44, tell you about, you know, who is the child of the devil. Because the devil was a murderer and a, the father of lies. And you can know who belong to him. Because them lie and them wicked and them not have no conscience. He, the devil come to kill, steal and destroy. So when you see people moving and operating around you in that regard. Then you know directly that, oh, you're working for Satan. So you take yourself away from them. So, like I said, I'm getting ready. Oh, it's quarter to 12. I'm getting ready for this funeral and I'm going to pay my respects. So have a blessed day. Keep subscribing and I will catch up with you at some point. God bless you. Reach out and touch the Lord as he pass by. He's not, never too busy to hear your hearts cry. And like I said, you do have to be a Christian to call on God's name because he's a spirit and those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. God bless you. Have a blessed day.